I'm not gonna sit here and pity myself and feel bad and I have to keep going and I'm a strong person. Yep, she needs help here. She's only 17, but a medical condition has forced her to endure more physical pain than most of us experience in our entire life. In fact, this young lady is hoping to find some relief here, and it's not, not in the form of medicine. Dr. Joe is going to show you now why her search for a better quality of life is taking her across state lines. From her home in Brooksville, Lorna Steff dreams of a future when she can walk down a runway as a professional model. But right now, a simple walk to the mailbox is sometimes impossible. I want to be on the cover of Vogue. That is my ultimate goal, and I'm going to establish that, I swear. Lorna's won pageants. She's built a portfolio. Still, she faces fierce competition from unbearable pain. My usual pain is like someone takes a knife and is like twisting it into your body, and it's, it's excruciating. Lorna has a neurological problem. It's called reflex sympathetic dystrophy, RSD for short. And it was frustrating because I had all this pain out of nowhere. Medicine helped, but a new problem threatens Lorna's modeling and independence. Lorna temporarily loses her vision. It can happen any time, any place. It was very scary. It's like going outside in the middle of the night and you can't see anything. It's pitch dark. I don't know how to describe it. It just tears your heart. Sorry. Leslie Coffey is Lorna's mother. She watched the RSD get worse. These days, Lorna sometimes needs a wheelchair. Walking is too painful and tiring. People like look at me funny. Um, I've lost friends over being in a wheelchair and stuff. You try not to cry in front of them. You try to be the brave one. You try not to show your emotions, but there's sometimes you just, you just can't. You can't help it. Determined to not close the book on her modeling aspirations, Lorna sought a four-legged partner, a guide dog to help keep her balance and break her falls. I am a little nervous being labeled because I will have a service dog, so I'm learning not to care what people think about me, and that's what keeps you strong. She dreams of a future in front of the camera and possibly beating her RSD. You have to stay strong, you have to have a level head and be confident in yourself, and that's what I'm learning now. You have to accept yourself for who you are and just keep moving forward. Lorna's search for a guide dog has taken her as far away as Atlanta after making some high-profile connections here in Tampa. Welcome back, America. You are listening to You Talk, I Bark. That's right, the only dog talk radio show. Lorna met this guy at a Tampa Pet Expo. His name is Blake Top Dog Rashad. He's an Atlanta DJ and told Lorna about a very unique guide dog program. It's based out of a local jail there. Now, inmates train pound dogs to be guide dogs. They felt King, a great Pyrenees, would be a great match. That has to be the best feeling in the world is connecting a, a great dog with a good family and you know he's going there to do something special. Something and knowing that our program gave him that chance when he probably wouldn't have had it any other anywhere else. So Lorna raised money and traveled to Atlanta to train with King, but it wasn't meant to be. Vets discovered King had a hip problem which prevented him from getting certified as a guide dog. So Lorna's search continues. What a horrible thing yeah. she is going through. Yes. Dr. Joe, you've told us about this, uh, this reflex dystrophy before here, this RSD. What mm -hmm. is new about it? Well, you know, I think they're finding out more and more about it. You know, it was such a mystery in the past, and some people were misdiagnosed, and a lot of times they were, you know, told that they were crazy because the pain is out of proportion to what the injury might have been. It could just be a sprained ankle that could result in this excruciating pain. So mm. at this point in time, I think they're finding out more about not using narcotics, using other types of medication. And of course, in the extreme case, you know, I, as you know, I traveled to Mexico to see what's called a ketamine coma. But again, those are people who are just, you know, at the end of at the end stages of it. Well, we can only hope the best for her. What's mm -hmm. next for Lorna here? Well, Lorna is back in school. That's a great thing but um, she's telling me that there is a trainer in Ocala that thinks that she's going to be able to help her so they're looking at getting a puppy training it and then she perhaps will have that guide dog pretty soon. Well, fortunately it's not that common but for those who get it it's yeah. just horrible we can see it and thank yes. you very much for being with us. Thank you. Dr. Joe.